Oh, y'all see that? Y'all had to have seen that. Yeah, yeah, just got the call. Just got the call for the Blackjack 42. There she is, y'all. There she is. Just got it in there. Just came in. We got this absolute mammoth of an RC boat in today. As uh, soon as this boat came out, went to my hobby shop and made the pre-order. This is a 42 inch Pro Boat Blackjack. Uh, it's got Spectrum Smart Technology 8S capable. This boat comes ready to run, box stock, ready to go basically. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the boat take a look at the box art an in-depth look at it take a look at the electronics and everything that goes with this boat now it's an absolute mammoth of an rc boat it's freaking huge you guys i had to actually set up a whole nother uh area just for this just for this video it's huge you guys it's freaking huge uh you guys can tell I'm excited. I can't wait to get this boat out of the box and on the water. Stick around, stick around, don't blink, don't blink. Big B with Ironclad RC. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, ring that bell to get notified for future builds, future projects. Yeah, let's get this freaking awesome, awesome boat out of the box and take a look at it. Smart technology. Uh, which is a very beneficial if you guys are running the Spectrum LiPo batteries, the Spectrum charger. It just makes life a lot easier. Um, the beam is 15.24 inches wide. I mean, that, that's super wide. This thing is going to be planted on the water for you guys when you're doing your speed runs. It's going to stay planted in turns. Hull construction is a polycarbonate, which is basically impact resistant. Uh, it's yeah, that's some very strong stuff smart 160 160 amp high voltage 8s capable ESC paired with a spectrum marine 4685 Four pole brushless motor uh, comes with a spectrum DX3 remote which has the DSMR te technology uh, Let's take a look at the other side here Double down, double down. Throw all your cards on the table, you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think they did a pretty good job at packaging the boat up. We will see. But got a lot of foam in here. That's good to see. First off, I see a sticker pack. Wind shields here if you want to change up the style of your boat. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We'll use some of those. All right, let's get this monster out. Uncage the beast. So we got a stand with the boat. Same type stand that comes with the Blackjack 24. Take the back off. We got it where it just sits right in this foam. That's nice to see. On video, it's just not going to do this boat any justice here. Uh, your your DSMR radio, nice streamlined looking remote control. <laughs> this is the moment I've been waiting on, right here, you guys. Let let's do it. Let's do it slow. Just look at that boat. Look at the graphics on it. That's amazing. That is an absolute work of art, in my opinion. That is beautiful. I'm a boat guy. I've always been a boat guy. 
grew up around boats, and, and I mean, this right here is the pinnacle of high performance boats. Right here. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Look at that. Look at the graphics. They did, they did an excellent job with the graphics on this boat. Everything you guys see on the bench right now comes with this boat. You got your DSMR Spectrum radio. You got your throttle trim, steering trims. It has the smart technology to let you know when your battery's getting low if you're using Spectrum Smart batteries. Uh, 50, 75, and 100 on your uh, throttle limit. If you guys have a younger daughter, nephew, niece uh, wanting to drive the boat, you could turn your, your power down for those inexperienced drivers. You have throttle reverse and steering reverse. Basic remote, feels comfortable in the hand. Uh, DSMR technology is very good, very good long range, nice remote. Like I said, you got your sticker pack, emblem pack here, and your instruction manual, they even included the batteries. On the box that said you needed batteries, they threw them in there. How about that? Just, so just for a reference, just for a reference, I wanted to throw the Blackjack 24. This boat's been around for a while. If you guys are in the hobby, or if you're not in the hobby, you guys probably seen a relative or somebody running this boat. Very popular. Uh, ready to run RC boat. This is 42 inch, 24 inch blackjack. So just a size comparison so you guys can get a idea of the mammoth size of this boat. It's absolutely huge. Wait until I turn it over on its side and you guys see how wide this boat is. But this is Project Overkill. We're going to be putting the 6S in this boat. I don't want to go fast. We're going to take a look at the exterior and then we're going to open the, open the hatch up and get a look at the interior of this boat. The once over of the boat, of the graphics here. So you have the graphics on the top of the boat. I don't feel any seams at all. So I'm thinking that this is actually printed onto the actual hull itself now we do have it looks like a graphic sticker on the side right here you can see the little where it outlines it actually I'm sure that's there to cover up this seam around the boat to kind of disguise that seam but I mean look at that they took their time they did an amazing job with these graphics blackjack double down baby double down so now you guys can just see how wide this boat is. Look how wide this bad boy is. Oh my God, it's a tank, son. I love the graphics on it. So oh, on the hull itself, I actually see a few little blemishes. You guys can see some of the blemishes right here. But, you know, you have to kind of expect that with a boat of this size and the price point. You have a lot of real estate here. A lot of big flat runs on this boat. And this is polycarbonate, so basically you can't really buff any of this out. If you scratch it or ding it up, it's not going to be able to buff out. So you have to be super careful with this thing. But it's strong. I mean, it's strong. Look at that, pushing down pretty hard. Yeah, man, this thing's nice. Sorry about the glare on the lights. I just wanted to light this thing up so you guys can really get an idea of what it looks like. Oh man, this thing's beautiful. All right, so let's, uh, let's go in in the boat let's go inside take a look give you a little tour of the interior of this hull uh, you've got a 
4685 brushless motor 1350 kv water cooled brushless motor a massive brushless motor for a massive boat everything about this boat is beefed up and supersized 3640 tp 4060 tp motor just look at the difference the, just look at the sheer size difference of this Spectrum 4685 compared to this 36 and 40 millimeter motor. Wow. Fifth scale, giant fifth scale servo. Perfect steering geometry to the rudder. Very nice to see. You got your receiver box here with a clip easy access to the receiver box six channels to expand and run you can run lights off that all kinds of different accessories very nice to see they've thought of everything for this price point you you can't beat it you guys you can't beat it now this is a, a firma smart electronic speed control 160 amp high voltage speed control look at those giant capacitors on there huh smart sense technology if you don't know about it i'm going to plug in this just a 3s battery all right and then we're going to turn our remote on all right and then we'll turn the esc on Go through the startup, three cell, and then the, the remote automatically will show you your battery level. So we're going to take the Smart Sense battery out. We're going to plug in just a run of the mill Avonic battery. Power the boat on. You guys see the, the battery level here. We're going to power the boat on again. It's going to go through the startup process. And then the remote will actually read what type of battery is in it. And it will turn off the, the battery level meter. So I recommend getting some 4S batteries for it. From Spectrum if you want to take advantage of the smart technology oh, she's, a, she's a beast if you're trying to throw larger props run double water cooling to this bad boy and really cool this thing down I mean they've thought of everything they've even got a little clip right here to hold the cooling tubes now that is something y'all that is nice you don't have to worry about them popping out and water leaking in the boat mid run you got your own off switch located right beside the electronic speed controller this is a set button so you can run through your parameters and pick your parameters program your parameters without a program card very nice to see uh, now we're going to go to the stuffing tube giant souped up stuffing tube to hold this massive quarter inch flex cable you've got to have a beefed up flex cable for a motor of this magnitude check that out y'all got a collet double grub screw collet quarter inch collet to i would say a five millimeter shaft I, I would think they would have beefed that up to say an eight millimeter shaft but that's just me i'm sure ProBoat knows what they're doing a nice aluminum motor mount here to handle all that torque all that power from this 1300 kv brushless motor water cooling has the single water cooling to cool down the whole system uh, it's got the single pickup in the back. Oh, wow, they included a double pickup upgraded rudder. It's nice to see you guys. Oh, yeah, so this is going to make it really easy for you guys to add a secondary cooling to 
your ESC or brushless motor to cool this boat down even more. Yes. And so it's all held in place by this elaborate inner skeletal system. This works as an electronics hold down battery tray and doubles as the strength and integrity of this boat that's going to keep everything in its place if you have any blowovers on the water that's going to keep everything where it needs to be strengthen the bottom of the boat the pontoons everything so that's really nice elaborate very elaborate inner skeletal system let's see what so front you got a large block of foam up there if we flip it and it starts to sink or hit a rock and put a hole in the boat uh, foam all the way around your hatch Just keep the help keep the water out like I said before four thumb screws to hold the hatch in place beautiful boat I've already put my antenna tube on uh, get a quick view of everything we're gonna flip this thing over and check out the stepped hull design your rudder and strut is all one piece like I said quarter inch flex cable stepped down to a 3 16 common propeller shaft 3 16 bore on your propeller with an aluminum propeller to boot. What they got holding this in? It must just screw right into that plastic ABS inner skeletal system. See, see those four circles right there? What you're looking at is where the rudder and strut actually attach to the hole. I don't see no washers, I don't see no screws. Now, it kind of looks like there's, you see that ring around each one of those? It looks like it's a cap on there that's possibly got a nut under it, but I doubt it. I really do. I really doubt it. It looks like they're just using plastic, this ABS support, as the washer and nut for the four bolts holding on the rudder. Now, it's kind of smart in a way. If you hit a turtle, if you hit a rock or log, then your rudder and struts gonna pull out of that plastic rather than destroy the whole transom of your boat so I kind of like it and in a way I kind of don't fully adjustable strut system so you can adjust the boats ride you can put your strut down to get the bow down put it up to get the bow of the boat up I like how they consolidated all the screws back here into one bracket in case you want to upgrade and run twin motors in this boat. That gives you an option and you don't have to fill in a bunch of extra holes if they were to mount to rudder in a separate place. That right there is awesome. Kudos to Pro Boat. Very nice, you guys. Very nice. I recommend this boat already and I haven't even run it just the look of this boat alone is is I mean it's nice it's very nice beautiful design beautiful boat you guys what a beautiful boat and we're going to just I want to take a look at the ride pads oh boy what's going on here something with the molding process it looks like got some ripples on here from something oh man well that doesn't really matter so much because this is the part that matters that's the part that matters right there you guys yeah they look pretty smooth a couple little little small imperfections in the ride pad a little blemish here on the rear pad nah I really don't like to see that oh man might have to get some sandpaper and work on that 
You get extreme performance. If you guys are thinking about tuning this boat, you might want to think about blueprinting these sponsons. Seriously. Especially these last two. Mine has a couple of dips in it. A couple of bat. Look at that big hump right there. I turned the light down so you guys can see. See that hump? I lose speed with this with these steps like they are that's the only complaint i have about this boat might have to blueprint these sponsons yeah but got a night like a rubber rubber grommet type seal for your stuffing tube which is going to make you your um replacing the stuffing tube super super easy you're just going to be able to pull it right out and, and replace it uh, like i was saying you've got adjustable strut to adjust the boat's ride that come loose i did not do that that's already loose also the rudder bracket was loose so we're going to have to go through and lock tight all of these screws on this boat uh, it's got a breakaway rudder. That's awesome. If you hit something, this breakaway screw, plastic screw, will out actually snap in half and your rudder will kick up so it doesn't rip the whole drive line out the back of your boat. Very, very nice to see. I run that on my Delta Force 35 and that is a lifesaver. I'll show you what happens. This is what happens when you run a rudder that doesn't kick, that doesn't, it's not able to kick up. If you run aground, you see how bent out of shape the rudder bracket is? When you run aground, this rudder didn't kick up, so it just about ripped the whole rudder out the back of the boat. So that's, that's really nice to see because if you hit something, and there's no give then it's going to rip everything out the transom of your boat guys if you're if you get this boat if you're running this boat do not replace this screw with a metal screw leave it plastic if you break it go get another one because trust me you will regret putting a, a stainless steel screw in that one screw hole right there don't do it trust me nice aluminum propeller the end of this rudder is chamfered adds to the hydrodynamics of this boat also I'm going to take my strut out and taper this strut barrel down to nothing so we don't have any type of blunt edge in the water if we taper that off to nothing it'll make it more hydrodynamic as well there it went all right nice nice so it was so it was tight in there this bushing come out with the shaft you see that there was grease on it you can see it on my hands not a lot and if you could see in the bushing there's a little bit of grease on it but not much this bushing it's a stepped down bushing. If you look in here, quarter inch to three sixteenths, you will not get that shaft through this bushing without pulling the bushing out as well. It's not gonna come out without taking the bushing out. You see that? Enough talking about this thing. Let's get this monster on the water. I've been waiting to take it out. Got a little break in the weather. Hopefully it don't start raining on us. Let's see what she'll do. More like it. That's right. That's right. Oh, she's a rocket, you guys. Alright, so... Steering right down a little bit. So she's walking. 
Damn, it's a rocket. It's a rocket, y'all. Wanting to lift up a little bit on me. God almighty knows. Yeah, she's wanting to kind of tail walk a little bit. Yeah, see how she's wanting to catwalk? So we got to get... Let's get us a pass in. Oh! Y'all oh. see that? Y'all had to have seen that. Y'all had to have saw that. So we gotta put those batteries up forward. Looks like they came loose in there. Sounds like it. 98 on the motor. Front. 81 on the back. 98's our highest temp. Check the caps. Yep, 98's the highest temp on the motor. So. Let's get these batteries pushed forward. All right, we got the batteries pushed forward this time. See if that helps out. Nice. Turns on a dime. See that? She just whipped right around. Turn that steering trim down. Catch a little air there. I was afraid of that with a boat th this size. I was afraid it would be like a big hydrofoil and catch air. Rocket, you guys. X445 would be perfect on this boat. Just cut power. I guess that's our battery packs. Let's make sure it's not a heat issue, which I did mod the cooling. I took that nipple off the exit of the cooling and put a new grommet, a 3 8 grommet in. I got a video, my next video coming out, how to do it. Um, that way we, it, we don't have any type of restrictions on our cooling. See right here, took that nipple off. So we shouldn't have any restrictions. Let's get the temp gun, make sure it's not LVC. I doubt it, but I kind of was giving it hell. So we'll see. Awesome boat, 101, 98, 89, 90, 95, and 88 on the end bell. So we had 104 was our highest temperature. 
so I wouldn't think they would do a temperature cut at 104 degrees but I haven't uh, went through any of the parameters it's basically box stock uh, only thing I did was took the the cable out watch my video feel make sure your cable isn't getting hot back here on your strut if you guys are running this boat make sure it's not getting hot because it will break your shaft I have a I had the fix I found the what was causing the heat back here and also I have a mod for this for this stuffing tube to keep it centered on your collet that little grease catch actually works pretty good i like it so, yeah yeah you guys thank y'all for watching uh, big b with ironclad rc a channel where we tinker test and tune everything rc uh, uh, i recommend this blackjack awesome boat it's beautiful it's a work of art my opinion I hope you guys liked the video. I know it was long. I know it was a long video. But uh, I hope you stuck in there to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.